Okay, here we're going to darken the dappling, um, actually accentuate a little bit of the dappling that's already on the horse. Um, I've mixed up burnt sienna and uh, badger black. Um, I've added just a few drops of the retarder. And here you'll see what I'm going to be doing is actually not just outlining each individual dapple, but groups of dapples. This horse is solid cast and he's really heavy, so if you see him shaking a little, that's because my left arm is getting kind of tired holding him. So I've set one of his feet on the edge of the table. So what I'm doing is outlining, say like I'll pick a group of maybe four or five dapples, and I just outline them and create sort of an area of a little more interest. And then when you look at that area, you see the tinier dapples inside this group and it draws your eye in and gives the dappling much more depth. Right now I'm just spraying some air so I can see what the dappling is going to look like when it's dry. See, we're getting some nice detailing in there. It's still pretty subtle. Um, it still blends with the coat color. But it's starting to really come to life. And I'll continue up over the top line. Okay, I've got to clean my needle. Check that the paint's wicking, and it's not wicking, so we're still, we have a little clog. There's actually a hair caught on the end. This paint's fairly thick, so we're getting just 
the beginnings. Yeah, that's what you don't want to do. I'm just getting the beginnings of the paint starting to wick into the Q-tip. Okay. You want to outline, say like maybe three or four dapples, and then outline just one dapple. And that way you'll get a really nice variation in your shapes and patterns. Um, with the paint just a little bit thicker like it is, I can work a little bit closer um, to my horse. And I won't get the runs that I would if my paint was thin like I was using earlier. Um, I like to have the paint a little bit thicker for a little better control when I'm doing the dappling. You able to see that? I don't have any in here, so I'm going to do a nice fade darker here and then fade it down into the flank like it's faded here. Um, sometimes it can be a little difficult to see what's happening with your paint. Um, sometimes all I see is a wet area show up on the horse and not really paint. It's just a reflection. Um, but that's kind of the way this works. Here I'm just doing some figure eight daffling again. I'm creating a little soft blending and fading of the dappling to go from the darker area down into the flank. I'm going to darken it just a little bit more here. Notice I pull the brush away as I release the trigger. Um, that helps to prevent spatters.
still wet, so it's going to look a little dark. And I do dappling even into the darkest areas of the horse. Um, you may not see it in this light, but some of the really harsh lighting that's in the show halls uh, will show off so much more detail. Um, we don't get to show outside, but sometimes we get really good lighting in the show halls. And it's amazing what detail will show up that you're not seeing uh, in your house. So I want to create lovely subtleties. That show up even in the darker areas of the horse. And remember we're going to do a, a coat of oil paint on top of all this too. Um, it'll be thin layers, basically washes and glazes that you'll look down through. Um, but all that dappling is going to show right up through and it'll be really beautiful and dramatic. Okay, that's it for this side. I'm going to take a break and then we'll come back and do the other side. Okay, here's how our dappling looks after the detailing. I know it's a little hard to see in this light, so I'm trying to get close enough so you can see it, but not so close that it's blurry. He's got quite a bit of shine on him at this point because um, I like to work on a slick surface that's well sealed. Um, if I make mistakes, I can wipe them off and they won't affect the layers underneath. And I will knock that shine down quite a bit when he's finished, but I like, like I said, a nice slick surface to work on at this stage. Um, he's a little too shiny for the show ring, um, although it is attractive and it does really bring up the color, it's also so reflective that it doesn't really allow you to see as many details as you would like. Um, I think you're able to see that dappling pretty well now, though. It's subtle. Um, it kind of appears and disappears as the horse turns in the light. And that's just what you want. That's how they really look on a horse. So, um, and this type of dappling is what I call health dappling. Um, he's not a dapple gray. He's not a silver dapple. Um, liver chestnuts may or may not have dappling. It's subtle and... Uh, that's what we want with this particular color. Okay, so I didn't change anything else on the horse. This is all we've done is the dappling now. So um, the next stage is I'm going to, um, again, let him cure overnight and spray him with a uh, sealer in the morning. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and um, paint the mane and tail white because the next step will be um, another layer of airbrush on the mane and tail. The final step will be the oils. And then last, we will do the white markings on his leg. <laughs> 